sometimes you wonder what you're doing wrong when it comes to trying to attract a woman. You may find it hard to impress them even if you try with maximum effort. Many men easily attract the women they like or want, yet you find it hard just to talk to her. The thing that makes a difference is confidence, but not just confidence alone. There are various psychological aspects of our behavior that affect our success in attracting women or in any other field. Think about it. Two guys may say the same thing but still get different reactions from people based on the confidence with which they said it. Today I'm going to primarily focus on male and female interactions and how to create an unshakable and confident masculine frame. Number 1. Don't be a nice guy. Let me tell you one thing if you're playing the role of the nice guy, you're going to find yourself setting up permanent residence in the friend zone. This, however, does not imply that you cannot genuinely be a kind man. Just don't be a meek people pleasing wimp. Be powerful, certain, and forceful. There is a huge difference between a guy who is truly friendly and offers to assist you with your relocation and a person who will agree to whatever. Big mentality shift. According to studies, individuals who perform the odd act of selflessness are more likely to attract girls. A characterization is the pleasant man who finishes last, not a male. High-value men place a high value on their time themselves, and others they care about. Be that person. So guys, I know we're right in the middle of eliminating bad habits from our lives, but before we start acting like saints, I just wanted to bring up one thing that high-value males do that might turn women off and why you should retain it as a tool in your back pocket. Number 2. Don't talk much about yourself. Nothing is more obnoxious than someone who won't stop talking about themselves. Period. Who would not stop bragging about how amazing they were. Hitler, and that man was a shit, not at all a high-value man. High-value men, however, understand the importance of stillness. They are aware of when to be silent and pay attention and when to provide a relevant tale. One of the qualities that really sets high-value guys apart is this. People talk constantly about themselves for a variety of reasons, but many of them stem from nervousness and lack of confidence. They are essentially always attempting to get the other person to join them. They are worthy, so I guess you could call it a dialogue. It's disgusting and repels ladies a lot. Instead, high-value guys know their worth, are comfortable in their own skin, and understand the importance of making sure the other person in the conversation is having a good time. After all, you're a winner if you can listen and make a woman giggle. Number 3. Facial Expression and Appearance Guess what facial expression was found to be most attractive? The most alluring man is thought to be one who displays pride. Another study discovered that males who seemed authoritative exuded turn-on. It kinda makes sense, really. Without saying a word, minor things like posture, a regular haircut, shaving your neck beard, and taking care of your teeth all project beauty. A high-value individual is always conscious of the small aspects in his appearance. Physical grooming and looks will help you in your day-to-day -day life like when you're in your best shape you have the confidence to deal with anything or anyone especially women. Number 4. Robust Confident Approach Do you recall how popular shows like The Pickup Artist were back then? High-value males are aware that the joke was intended to be taken literally. So there. Seriously. It turns out that the society as a whole was inspired by a joke, and that men later began to take it too seriously. Again, if you approach women in a mature manner, they are far more likely to be turned on. This is not to argue that lines never work. Rather, our goal is to increase your chances of turning on ladies. This is why you should avoid using cheeseball phrases and instead have a strong, aggressive, and confident attitude. When you are yourself you are way more confident rather than copying others. Number 5. Speak good of others. High value men don't engage in gossip. Not at all. They have no motivation to. They are aware of its ugly appearance and that it has no worth. Guys, just consider that your mother told you this story when you were little. What should you do if you can't say something kind? Don't say anything at all, overall. That's accurate. Couple this with the knowledge that a woman will be put off by you as well as the idea that you are the kind of person who would talk negatively about her if given the chance. So, by disparaging others, you're essentially shooting yourself in the foot. Instead, high-value guys find a way to present their concerns in the most favorable light and extend the benefit of the doubt to others. Because being generous and having the capacity to overlook someone else's misdeeds are virtues as well as appealing traits. 